Gemini, what is up? All right. I hope you are doing well today. I'm excited to do your reading. I feel like it's been forever. <laughs> uh, I love my Geminis. I, fellow air signs, I feel like you guys just get it. You just get it, <laughs> you know? Um, so, let's see where your energy is at today. What's going on with you? stubborn deck. I have to wake it up. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> It'll come through. You just gotta wait. <laughs> this is like, this This deck has the personality of a cat. <laughs> it's like, I will drop cards when I'm ready to drop cards. I gotta do it one more time. <laughs> I'm gonna be stubborn with this deck. Stubborn with me, so I feel like I have to reciprocate that. Oh, there we go. So you'd understand. This deck is also an air sign, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Alright, so let's see. <clears throat> Andromedans. Autonomy, free will, and manifestation. Yes. Yes. I like this. This is very good energy, okay? <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> You know what? I'm gonna say a quick prayer for you. May your autonomy always be blessed and guided so that you will never be under the rule of another. <laughs> right? Like, even if you're in a partnership, I feel like you should still have a level of, like, free will and being able to have, you know, have ownership over yourself. I got a can of wax on my table. <laughs> but I ain't changing it. Okay, that's part of it. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Okay. So, what I see here, alright, right now, with the Four of Swords in reverse, I feel that Mercury Retrograde has kind of touched you. It's kind of hit a little bit, right? It's left you feeling a little bit conflicted, um, probably emotionally. Um, with the Nine of Swords, though, it's like you're coming towards the end of that. You're coming towards the end of that conflicted energy. Uh, fortitude. It's saying, you know, continue putting in the hard work. Your hard efforts and hard work are going to pay off, you know, because you don't abandon your success with the Eight of Cups. You just keep on going. You just keep going. Um, there's no, um, try to make sure you don't fall into any kind of lack mentality, you know. When you're manifesting, you want to already feel like you have it already live like you have it right um all right so let's clarify the four of swords in reverse what is that there what is this conflicted energy that you're going through <clears throat> the empress okay 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 so um why <laughs> why yeah <laughs> okay uh Let's see, um, you're conflicted about an empress. Seven of Pentacles. There's like an indecisive nature around this. your conflicted nature is you don't know how to approach you don't know like what path to take with that all right nine of swords 
words will clarify that. It's like... I feel like those just kind of go together, you know? Um... Princess of Wands in reverse. Maybe you heard something through the grapevine that wasn't true. And you don't know what to feel or believe about it. Alright, maybe... Because the Empress in the upright is very opposite of the Princess of Wands in the reverse. It's like the Empress is somebody who's very confident, stands in her power, and is really um, level-headed, you know? Somebody who's really balanced. You see the scales above her head? She's really balanced. She's, like, really with it, right? And it's like with the Princess of Wands, it's kind of like there's, like, some shit-talking energy around that. Um, you might be the Empress. You might be in that Empress energy, that might be where the conflict is coming from, honestly. It's like people might be coming at you with like negativity and... Because I'm kind of feeling that. Like somebody's coming at you with some negative shit, like talking shit. And you're not really sure what to do with that, like... How to handle that. <laughs> So let's see. King of Pentacles. Now we have another energy here. But I feel like what it's really saying here is focus on your work because that really ties into the fortitude. Maybe you have a really strong balance between masculine and feminine within you because I feel like the King of Pentacles and the Empress kind of go hand in hand right now. It's like, fuck the naysayers, fuck people talking shit, people who are in that lower vibration and saying really focus on your hard work. Really focus on creating happiness for yourself. You don't need to care about what other people think or say. Um, <clears throat> besides, they don't even like themselves. You know, they don't even like themselves. What does their opinion matter? If they can't like themselves, we can't expect them to like us, right? Alright, so, Fortitude and Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Let's clarify those. I feel like those two kind of go hand in hand. Eight of Cups is kind of like mastery of emotions, right? Like putting work first and like mastering your emotions. Yeah, it's like when you when you put yourself to work, you no longer feel conflicted. You no longer feel like right six of wands in reverse um with the seven of cups in reverse that kind of tells me that like you you feel like you didn't get a victory because you at some point you feel like you may have taken a wrong turn or something or maybe you're focused on I see. Ten of Cups in reverse. Hold on. Sorry about that. I heard somebody come into my house and I was like, what the fuck? And I, it was my mom. Um, <laughs> I was like, there's an intruder. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah. Ten of Cups in reverse. Um... Okay, Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's like, you feel like you didn't get a wish fulfillment here, and you've been so strong in trying to manifest it, right? And it's like you just keep 
you, you just keep working towards it, right? What is this wish fulfillment? Sword, you want to be at peace, right? You just want to be at peace in your soul. Um, Ten of Swords in reverse. You don't want to have to cut something out for that. The Sun, which is never um, right in the reverse. It's like you want your prosperity, your abundance, your happiness, right? Um, and then with the Foolish Man in reverse, it's like saying you're not being impulsive. You're not doing anything stupid. And you're just kind of sitting there like, why? Right? <laughs> Like, why hasn't it come to fruition? I've done all this work. I've put in all this effort. Um, maybe you're struggling to cut off this, this person who just keeps coming in with bullshit energy. Um, this person who just, you know, they're probably, they're gossip. That's what they are. And it's like, you have to really take into consideration that those who gossip to you will gossip about you. You know? Um, I never trust people who come in talking shit about other people. I never do because there's this thing that happens where people who talk shit, they tend to point out the flaws in other people that they refuse to see in themselves but are there, you know? So it's like when people are like, oh, that girl's a whore. Da -da 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 -da. Guess what, chicken butt? You only see that because that's inside of you, you know? Or like... When somebody, you know, it's just kind of that thing. It's like how people look for faces and clouds and stuff. It's like we, we seek traits in our mind that are familiar. And they're familiar because they're within us. And so it's like, um, same with gossiping, you know. So, I mean, I would not invest too much into that. <laughs> um, let me see. You know what? I feel like you're an alchemist. I'm going to use all my alchemy decks on you. Alright, so what is some um, advice for my Geminis? What can I really help them with? And you know what? I would like to say that there is a, enough major arcana here to let me know that you are on your main path. You're on your main quest. This is something that kind of has to happen in the way that it's happening as much as that sucks. It's like it has to happen the way that it's happening for you to obtain the lesson here to learn what's what's going on under the surface. <clears throat> what does Gemini need to know? You need to listen to the universe. The universe speaks through your intuition, right? It speaks to you through music. It speaks to you through numbers. It speaks to you in many cryptic ways. And I feel like you know that. You understand that, right? And it's like when the universe drops hints, when they're dropping messages for you, the, the universe wants you to pick up the phone and answer and be like, okay, here we go. Like maybe... Your success is not going to come in the form that you're wanting it, right? Sometimes that happens with manifestation. Maybe you want something in a certain way, but it's like you can have this, but it's not going to be in the way that you first envisioned, right? It's in the way that you are destined to get it. Um, <clears throat> no, the sun again, right? It's all about that prosperity, that abundance. Also, you could have a Leo in your life, right? Or Leo in your chart. <clears throat> Alright, so. What does 
Gemini not know? What do they not know right now? Nothing. You know everything. <laughs> okay. Um, wrong question. Um, let's see. Let me try that again. Um, <clears throat> What will benefit Gemini right now in this path? What will be the most beneficial step or action that they could take? That's the question. Making a decision, Knight of Wands, to come in and talk about your truth. Talk about how you feel about something, right? Ten of Discs. This brings about your Ten of Pentacles. This brings about your abundance. The Lovers. This is a Gemini card, right? In the upright, this means that you will, you will be in your fullest state. Or it could mean... Divine union, you know, it could mean that you could have your twin flame. Um, but the lover's card is a Gemini's card. So it's like when you speak up for yourself, when you defend yourself, you speak your truth in every situation. It's like that's when you get your blessings. That's when shit starts coming full circle for you. But anytime you withhold, anytime you're like, well, I don't want to stir up the water. <laughs> you know, I don't want to stir the pot. I don't want to fuck shit up. Um, I don't want to ruffle any feathers. That's when you start getting blockages because you have a truth within you. You have a truth within you. And like in whatever situation, if you're dealing with a, a person here who's talking shit all the time, who's really negative, really bringing you down, be upfront about that. You know, be like, look, dude, come back to me when you're not in this energy. Because right now, you're a blessing blocker. My blessings cannot go to somebody <laughs> who hasn't deserved them, right? So if they're trying to obtain the blessings that you yourself have worked so fucking hard for, <clears throat> you have to understand, they didn't work hard like you did. They don't really deserve your blessings. They don't really deserve all that you have put work for. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I keep clearing my throat. When I talk a lot, I start, you know, that's it. It's the fucking throat chakra. As soon as I started doing this reading, I started feeling like, fuck, I just got to clear my, I have a frog in my throat. And then with this, it's like, you need to make the decision to speak up. Speak up. Tell it like it be like. Your throat chakra is closing up and you need to open that. You need to speak up for yourself. Okay, hold up. <clears throat> Alright. What else does the universe want Gemini to know right now? in reverse you will not fail right you will not fail
Nine of Cups in reverse. Somebody's not going to be happy about that. Somebody's not going to be happy about your success, right? And because they they feel like your victory is their loss, and because they feel like that, they're going to lose their any, anything coming towards them, right? Because right now, I see shit coming towards you. I see you in that kingpin energy. I see you in that king of pentacles energy. I see them losing blessings. I see the universe throwing out bad karma towards them. Or just karma, you know? They earned the bad part of that. But karma's coming around. And it's like, oh, well, they want to take shit from you? They want to take your blessings? Well, let's just let them know what that feels like. They want to take your victory from you? Well, let's let them know what that feels like. Because anytime somebody wishes something on somebody else, good or bad, that comes back on them, right? With the E on here, it's telling me here that you are an eternal soul. You're an old soul, right? And you have been working lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And you have been earning lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And it's like saying here that like you've put so much work and effort into this. And I don't even know if you know how long you've been doing this. But you have earned so fucking much. that it's like saying, guess what? It's coming for full circle. You're getting your blessings. All you have to do is speak up for yourself. All you have to do is let bad shit happen to bad people and get on with your life. Right? Don't even wipe the dust from your feet and walk away. <laughs> you know, don't even look back. You know, like, let bad shit befall them because they earned that. Because they wished that on you and others. Because they chose to be so negative. Sorry, I'm getting a download. <laughs> you're, you're probably like, what is she doing? Okay, um, okay. <clears throat> yes. Great universe. Um, <clears throat> alright, we're gonna do some oracles. I feel like this person, this energy... The reason that you feel like it's so hard to release them from your life, too, is because they're karmic. You dealt with them in past life. You probably killed them in a past life. <laughs> they probably killed you in a past life. And there's some unfinished business there. And you need to finish it. You need to finish it. So that this doesn't carry on into the next one. You need to finish it. Otherwise, you're going to have to keep dealing with them. You need to close that cycle. Release. Release it. Have a whole ass funeral for this. <laughs> not for them. No, not like they're dead. But like this situation is so dead. Have a funeral for it. <laughs> Sometimes actually doing that, going to the grave and or going to the um, cemetery and like having a little ceremony where you just like bury your past shit. You just let that shit go. That's a good way to fucking release. <clears throat> dreaming days in reverse. You're done dreaming. 
And the reason you're done dreaming is because you're going to start living the things you were dreaming about. You're going to start living it. No more just thinking about it. No more just wishing. No more just wanting. No more just hoping. That reminds me of a fucking song. Wishing and praying and thinking and something. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> um, but yeah, no. Um... No more just wishing. I'm going to see if there's any more for you before I close this circle. Alright, that's what the universe has for you. And if you need backup, hit me up. I'm an air sign too. I can help you. <laughs> okay. You want me to help you write a very well worded letter? I've got you. <laughs> you want me to be back up if you gotta go confront somebody? I got you, okay? I don't give a fuck. I'll be there. Um, but yeah, dude, like, I mean, as long as you're close, so whatever, <laughs> you know? But yeah, so what, what I'm saying though is don't be afraid. This is your destiny. This is your journey. This is what you're meant to do. You need your free will, your autonomy. You need to be free, right? 